Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the LG G4. Now I've been using this for about a week, I've been carrying it along with my other phone and been using it throughout the day, and first impressions are, I really like it, it's a really nice phone. I can't really find too many faults with it, but let's first talk about all of the specs, because this is a pretty high-end phone these days. And you can see this is the G4 with this diamond pattern back, you can kind of feel it right here, but this is plastic, they do have it in leather and uh, another color ceramic as well. So this is just the plastic back. I haven't tried any of the others. Typical LG style now is this power button on the back with the speaker volume buttons right there and then your camera, your your dual tone flash and your laser sensor. Basically this is a depth finder for your focusing I believe and that's pretty much it on the back. Now, one of the big things with this particular phone is the 16 megapixel camera. This is a phenomenal camera, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But the camera overall is really, really good. Inside, we have some serious power. We have a 6-core 1.8 gigahertz 808 Snapdragon processor. Pretty high end there. We also have an Adreno 418, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. And something pretty rare these days for phones is the back comes off unsnap this and that's how you can change out some of the back so I guess you could change them later on you've got a replaceable 3000 milliamp hour battery you also have expandable storage here with a micro SD card and that's pretty rare these days now that Samsung and some others like HTC have kind of well you can expand the storage but you can't really remove the batteries anymore so let's snap this back in place Take a look at the phone itself. Now the display is really, really nice. It's 5.5 inches. It's 1440 by 2560, 538 pixels per inch. And it's an IPS LCD. Now some people may not like those as much as AMOLED, but I actually like LCD displays a little bit better. AMOLEDs, for some reason, actually hurt my eyes a little bit, but that's just me. Uh, but I really like the colors. Everything looks really nice. And this is pretty close to stock Android. Uh, LG hasn't done a whole lot here to, to basically stray away from that, which is a, a really, really good thing. Now this phone is fully loaded as far as specs go. I've got it customized here. I haven't really done a whole lot with this, but you can see they've done some interesting things here. Really fast and responsive. And the app drawer here, we'll go into it. Uh, pretty typical what you'd see on stock Android for the most part. Now they have this weather widget here which is nice but it's got a little paragraph it will be rainy all day tomorrow so you may want to take an umbrella there's other alerts in here as well you can see there's other things in here different different people's birthdays things like that now i've cleared out my notifications we've got some nice stuff here if we pull down we've got some quick uh quick ways to change brightness uh volume and oh, there we go uh volume and all sorts of different things. I really like it. I think it's pretty intuitive. And then if we go into the settings, you've got all sorts of different things. And you can see this is running, well, we'll go down here, software info, Android 5.1. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I really like the phone. It's really fast and has a little bit different app switcher as well. You can just clear all, it will clear them all out. And there you go. So it's got a little bit different folders. You can change the colors of the folders. So if I go in here, I can change the color to say this grayish color. Uh, you can just change it up a little bit. Uh, some of their customizations. So it's really not too much of their theme in your face. I really like that and I really like the overall phone. Now the phone, it does remind me a little bit of a OnePlus One in, in the way that it looks when you shut it off. If you get rid of this LG, it looks real similar actually. Uh, obviously the, the buttons aren't on the back, but just the, the feel of it is real similar to that. Uh, but it feels built pretty well. It doesn't feel exquisite like, I guess, uh, an HTC One where you've got a metal or aluminum. Same with a Galaxy, iPhones, uh, anything these days. But that does give you this back. Snap that back in place. That does give you this back. And that's okay because it makes up for it in the camera department. This camera is probably the best I've seen on a smartphone, and that's saying a lot coming from me. Uh, let me put the HTC in the background here, and focus, we'll snap the shot here. Now you can customize this, we'll use photos here, you can customize this, 
And I don't know why that popped up. I did just install the new Photos app, so maybe that's why. Uh, you can install this. This is incredibly, incredibly clear. And this is just an auto photo. Now, you can really get into this if you're, if you're a photographer and you know what you're talking about with the settings. So we've got different aspect ratios, HDR, that sort of thing. No big deal there. But if we go up to here, we can go to manual. And now we've got all sorts of controls. So we've got uh, white balance and focusing and ISO and whatever you want or ISO. So we can change this up and down. We can change the ISO. Uh, we can have it do it itself if we want. Uh, shutter speed. It's it's really pretty complex as far as what you can do with it for a smartphone. And you've even got... Oh, I thought I could bring that up, but you've even got uh, some metering as well. So it's really nice. We can shoot in RAW as well. So, or RAW JPEG anyway. And we can do some really nice things with it. So this is about as good as it gets with a smartphone, I think, as far as a camera. Right now, uh, the competition really needs to catch up to the camera on this phone, which is saying something since uh, I've pretty much liked the iPhone camera up until this point, and the Galaxy's pretty close, uh, but as far as accuracy and quick shots and getting good shots every time, the iPhone I found was the best. Uh, this is this is another step up, so everyone has to kind of come up to this phone's level as far as that goes now. Now the front-facing camera actually is an 8 megapixel camera as well. Uh, let's see if we can spin it around here. Uh, we'll get back. There we go. You can see the camera and some lights above me. But it's an 8 megapixel camera right here, so that's pretty impressive as well. So really, really nice. And if you don't want manual mode, of course, you can go back to auto. You can even go to simple. And just snap a picture and you get everything out of the way. So it's really up to you what you want to do. As far as the video recording goes, we have 4K video recording. So you've even got all sorts of crazy options as well. Uh, we could turn on or turn off our rule of thirds grid. Uh, really, really nice. It's it's just a great phone as far as that goes. Now, I can't truly talk to battery life right now. I can tell you what LG claims, which they claim 19 hours of talk time. It does have that swappable battery that's 3,000 milliamp hours. It also has 19 hours of 3G talk time, 4G standby time. Uh, it's 19 days or almost 20 days. So, it's got a huge battery, and if you need more battery, you can swap it out. It'll easily get you through a day. Now, I don't have, you can see right now, I actually don't have a SIM card in it, and I don't have my SIM card adapter, so I've been using it on Wi-Fi regularly all throughout the day, and it works great, super fast. It never really lags, never had any issues. It plays games fast. Uh, the speaker is okay. They just have this one speaker here, and kind of these grills here, I thought maybe some sound was coming out of, but it really... Uh, isn't anything phenomenal, but it's not bad. It's not going to really compete with this phone uh, as far as the speakers go, but it's pretty good, and it's above or the same as most others, so not really an issue there. Uh, however, everything else on it is just really good. It's a great overall phone, and that's saying a lot. I really don't think LG has been there yet until this point. So I think this is definitely worth checking out and at least uh, going to your local store and checking it out and seeing what you think. Like I said, it is plastic. Uh, it may be a lot better with the leather back, but I think you'll be pretty happy, especially if you're interested in a, in a really good camera and that's your main use for it. I think LG really, really nailed it. And it is a little slippery, as you can see there. So I think they really nailed it. It's really a great phone. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, there's so many different devices out there now that are good, uh, including the HTC One, although the camera's not as good. On Android, uh, you've got the Galaxy S6, of course, the S6 Edge, the Notes, and iPhones, and even some Windows phones if you're looking at some cameras. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.